This video is sponsored by Tutors.com. Alright, now that the cube is all scrambled up, we can begin. So, what you're going to do before you start moving anything is find whichever side has the most already done. Now, mine has them all with just the one middle piece, which doesn't move. So, we're just going to use whatever side for this one. I'm going to just say orange. Now, you have your side facing you, and you want to flip it over and look at the bottom. If for doing orange, there's one side piece that has orange. You want to look for the side pieces right now because we're going to try to do the cross first. So when you find a side piece, match it up with the color. You see there, there's the green and there's the orange. Now all you have to do is flip it over, and you have that. Now there's no more left that are edge pieces, so we got to do that here. Now right here, there's a blue one and an orange one but the orange is facing the wrong way, it's got to be facing up. So now we got to get that to face upwards. So what we're going to do first is just put it at the bottom, like we did before, and then bring it over to the blue, just like you normally would. But now, we need to move it over one, so that's just bring it over, bottom uh, cl clockwise, bring it up, and just put it right there. If you didn't catch that, it's right there. Move it over, and bring it up. Alright, now we're going to do the same with the other ones. There's the yellow, and there's the white. Okay, now we got to find the corners. So here we have the white and green corner. So we're just going to bring that right there, and now we're going to do the first thing I showed you before, which is right, bottom inverted, or I'm sorry, right inverted, bottom inverted, right, bottom. Right inverted, bottom inverted, right, bottom. And you just do that until this is up there. And there you go. If you didn't catch that, then uh, check it again, make sure the video is right. Now, do another one. Okay, so here's the next one. Mash it up, blue and yellow. Do the same thing we did before. There it is. Now the other two are already up here, but they're in the wrong spot. Or at least this one is. So, to get that out of there, just move it out. That's all it takes. Then, you gotta move that here. There's the blue, there's the white. We do the same thing again. There. Now, so, just do the same thing right here. And now I'm going to show you a shortcut that makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to solve. Now, you can only do this for the first layer. You won't be able to do this any time later. But when you're doing this, you can move the bottom twice, bottom inverted twice, each time you do that until it matches up. Because that way, it just gets done a little faster. It's a little bit more impressive when you get it done fast. So now when you look at it, the whole entire first layer is done, along with one side. Now we just flip it over. Bottom side is red, so we want to find a thing that does not have red on the piece. But once again, we're trying to do the cross. So here's one with the green and yellow. Green and yellow matches up right here. So what we're going to do is up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. You see, everything stayed there, and the green and yellow piece is right there. If you didn't catch that, look it over again, because that's kind of a longer one. We're going to do the same thing with the next side. This side is just the same thing, but opposite, because we're going to, well, it's not. We're going to do the same thing with this side, once again. Up inverted, 
right, or up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up, front inverted, up, front. There it is again. All right, same thing for the entire part until you have the second layer finished. And there you go. Now there is one problem you may come across, and that is when a piece that you need isn't up here, but it's down here. So I'm going to try to see if I can get that now. Uh. Okay, so here's a piece that we need. It doesn't have red on it, and it's right there. So to get it out, well, for this one it should be rather simple because we just do the same thing all over again. A bigger problem that exists, though, is when the piece that you need to get, like it could be the last one, is in that spot. Which isn't that hard to solve, you just do the same thing again, but with any up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, random piece that actually does have red on it, and then you just replace it. It's that simple. If you don't understand that, it's really not that hard. I'll I can't really show you now because I don't have the piece there. But just do the same thing again. Just one extra time. Now, let me get that in there. Because now that we have the second layer, we can do the last top layer. Now, when you get this, you will have either an L, a line, a cross, and I think you can also have just the dot. When you have the L, which is probably the most common, you just do this simple thing. You do front, right, and then front inverted. Then we get the line. Now we gotta do the same thing to get the cross. And now you see we have the cross there. Now, when you have the cross, no matter how long it took you to get the cross, two sides at least will always match up. Here I got lucky, and all four of the sides matched up. I don't know how that always works, if you want to look into it, maybe you can get the cube done even faster. Now, what you want to do when you have... Here, actually... Alright, there we go. Now... I have the cross, and not all the sides match up. Just so I can explain it. So, what you're going to have is probably two sides next to each other that match up with the cross. So what you're going to do is have one side facing to the right, and you're going to do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted, and then one last up, and that should line everything up. If you have it on both sides, you're going to do just that same um, thing, but to get the two sides next to each other, and then you'll just do it one more time, and you'll get this. Now, you're going to try to find a corner that matches. This one just happens to be already, but it doesn't have to uh, match up perfectly like that. It just has to be the right colors with the right side. So, now, what you're going to do is have that corner to the bottom right of you, right here. And you're going to do up, right, up inverted, left, up inverted, or up, right inverted, up inverted, left inverted and you'll have supposedly more corners. Sometimes you'll have to do it at least four times, or about up to four times. So we're gonna do that again. This one shouldn't be that hard to follow. This is probably the simplest uh, piece. All right, so once you have all the top corner pieces matching up with their sides, you're going to do the same thing that was the first part that I showed you which is the simple four part move and you're just going to do that until the front matches up and make sure you get the last bottom part because that's important once that side matches up just turn it to the next one and keep going
And now, as you can see, keep it soft. If you need to go back and watch it again, go ahead. I did mess up a couple times because I was looking through the camera and I noticed that I may have said some of the um, inverted wrong, may have said like this was right inverted or something, but uh, if you just watch how I'm doing it, then it should be easy to follow. So uh, if you didn't get it the first time, watch it again and pause the video whenever you need to. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please visit tutors.com.